we're still not enough, that's for sure. Yeah. And, and um, women in general have been uh, more employed within the labo laboratory or marketing yeah. side of the industry rather than really the winemaking, the blending, which is really uh, what we look after. The main mission of a winemaker in Champagne is not yeah. to really look after the quality qualities directly given by the berries yeah. uh, and the growers work, while actually the, the main mission of a winemaker in Champagne is to look after the consistency of style okay, um, yeah. Yeah, through the non-vintage blend. And um, so the idea is a lot of tasting, and it's uh, what really matters is the blending. So the the selection of the different wines from the different grape varieties, the different crew that we're all using. So, I mean, we don't necessarily need to be women or men to find out, no. you know, the, the right consistency. We need to be a team, and this team is always more balanced when you have men and women. I think. Okay. Um, but what? So we're still quite. Um, a few, uh, unfortunately, to, to not too many in Champagne as uh, as um, as seller masters, uh, but it's going to change. Eighty percent of um, apparently the new students um, um, studying in the winemaking school in Reims are women, so it might change in the future. Yeah, I have no idea how it's going to change, but definitely will. It's more about passion and interest and um, curiosity, really. So I've always been very curious in wine. Um, no one in my family is in, involved in the okay. wine industry, I'm the only one. But my father is a wine lover and he taught me and my sisters how to taste wines, to enjoy wines and, uh, and to talk about wine also, which is a great theme, as you know, for French. So yes. we're always talking about food, wine <laughs> and politics. That's what we do. Uh, but the, 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 the idea is, was not necessary to become a winemaker first. I wanted to become a fighter pilot. Okay. So I wanted to become a vet. I wanted to become any anything else than just studying economic or low like like my other friends. I say so I needed something a little bit different, and I was more interested in the creation of a wine rather than being a sommelier and uh, and working in a restaurant, just um, trying to find out the right balance between wine and, and the food. The idea for me was really to be. Um, Really, in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the first step of the, of the creation. Yeah. So, um, being a winemaker just came slowly into my mind, and uh, when I decided to become a winemaker, I decided also to become a winemaker in Champagne, not, not just somewhere else. Yeah. Maybe why not in a, another day in, a, in another wine region, but bubbles, and, uh, and it's not just. Bubbles for Celebration Champagne is um, it's a, a wine that everyone loves, envy, also in the world because we still unfortunately can find some Australian Champagne, I don't know what it means, but uh, um, the thing that exactly. Champagne is still um, um, today the, the, the most well recognized sparkling wine in the world and I hope it will continue. And this um, this wine is very positive, it's part of luxury, It's uh, it cheers you up. Always, yeah. when you're having a glass of champagne, it makes you happy immediately. Um, so there's there's a magic behind champagne, and um, that's what I really enjoy also about this product. So it's passion, and you discover really the more you discover champagne, the more you discover the diversity of it. Champagne is not just a simple bubble blending. Um, big mix of wines that come from one region. It's, um, it's really more than this, it's more complex. It's uh, more rich, definitely, than, than what we maybe can think about it. You need to be pas passionate, that's for sure, but you need also to have maybe a little bit of chance, lucky, and uh, make sure that I think everyone's got a talent, got a gift, or you know, he's got something different to, to bring to the industry. And uh, I, I don't know if there is a recipe. I mean, there's everyone. Everyone can actually just uh, try to, um, to 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 get involved into this industry. Um, but for Australian wanted to come over Champagne, that would be easy to find out a way to work for harvest time, you set a hand, why not? Uh, but it might be more difficult actually to really take over the, the whole process because importantly Champagne is a very conservative uh, region and um, I have to admit that if you 
You need to be French. Okay. You need to be French. <laughs> I don't know any. Um, uh, that's how it is. I don't yeah. know any uh, any um, cinemasters being um, not French. And um, and uh, if you are coming from the Champagne region, it's even better. Right. I'm totally not You're from not that region, so <laughs> see, it can happen. Yeah. So you need to really, um, if you really want to do something, then I'm pretty sure you can, you can do it. Yeah, you can do it and you can reach your goal. It can be both. It can be actually challenging, but also very pleasant. Um, challenging because it's an everyday work. I mean, I think it's not just in this industry, but being a woman is always challenging in any industry, I think. And it's still the case, and uh, maybe still in France, because there's probably a lot of sexism also in France. But um, it, it's challenging because you need probably to do a bit more than your male uh, colleagues. Um, to have a voice, to be listened, and um, to be considered also, and not just being the the beauty part, you know, of the uh, of the of the of the promotion of the communication of champagne. Um, but it's also pleasant because I'm working with three other winemakers. There's absolutely no hierarchy between the the four of us, and there's also no no um, no um, I would say. I, I never had any sexist um, reflection uh, the, from them, never. They've always been very respectful and we have a lot of respect, we share the same passion for that and, um, and because I'm a woman definitely I can almost get anything I want if I really want to. Okay. <laughs> so I just need to say, smile a little bit, say oh please can you make sure that this wine I can get it and uh, in general, it works. Yeah. Um, but I think also being a man can have its advantage. So uh, I don't know. It's just a matter of balance. Yeah. And uh, I think at uh, Jakar, is everything goes smoothly um, within the team. So that's what really matters. I assume that most of the consumers. Um, in Australia and, and probably in any new champagne markets, um, the consumers feel a little bit more safe buying a brand that is very well known. Mm -hmm. Because and I, it's totally understandable if you if you don't know much, I mean, about champagne universe, then a well-known brand, very well established, very well recognized, can definitely reassure you, which is great. Um, but the, the idea is the more you taste, the more also you, you find out that Champagne is a very rich region, very diverse, offering plenty of very different styles. There's 8,000 different labels in Champagne, so it is of course and obviously one at least that will suit your palate. It's um, a lifetime of tasting then. It's a lifetime of tasting, <laughs> but you get more and more access also to a, a wide diversity of, uh, of Champagne and it would be a shame actually not to uh, be curious enough to also um, taste and um, just buy a bottle, taste it with a friend, share it and then exchange and, and see if it's really worth it or not. Maybe it will suit your palate and that's great or maybe it's not your style and then then go go to, well, well just uh, try another one and uh, and keep going. I mean that's, that's all about wine. If you're not actually curious enough then you have not understood wine. Because definitely wine is all about discovering, it's all about also sharing. So I'm, all, I'm, I'm still discovering, I'm still discovering champagne and I'm still also discovering Australian brands and Australian wines. Yeah. So Australia is not just Shiraz, making great Shiraz, <laughs> plenty of different brands, but the idea is to be also a bit more curious. Yeah. Jacquard is a very young, young brand, so the idea is really to showcase also a more modern and contemporary style in our wines. And the idea has always been to focus on how to highlight Chardonnay in our non-vintage Brut Mosaic, which is really reflecting the style um, of the house. So m the most historical grape in Champagne is the Pinot Noir. So most of the historical houses are using Pinot Noir in their blend. While in Cheka we've been always trying to highlight the delicacy and the freshness, the elegance of the Chardonnay. And that's the idea, it's really to use the black skin grapes to enhance um, the freshness of the wines. 
So blending gives you always the style, but aging gives you the complexity. So for us, it's very important also to showcase the softness and the smoothness, the richness of an extra aging uh, on leaves. So definitely, the, the slim, well, very simply, the style of Jacquard would be to have a very refined texture, bubbles and, and aromas with a straightforward appealing and a soft and smooth finish.